You ready to go? Where are we going? Where are we going? You ready to go? 40 years old. He was kind of a f up. A lot of artists and comics, I bet musicians as well, but look, and Pressfield talks about that in the most concise and beautiful way. And he labels it like an enemy because of resistance. All right, well, we have quite a bit of stuff to unload, but we have arrived and we're just gonna play it by ear. Don't really have a plan yet, but uh, the weather's feeling nice and chill. It is a little bit blowy though, so we'll see. Y'all gonna come or y'all gonna stay? All right, so if you guys saw last video, I said we were gonna change the pace a little bit up on the channel and come up north and do some hunting and we just got here and what better way to start it off than to do some good old-fashioned chores on the ranch i don't even know if paisley's ever seen the chickens before what do you think get them get them get them <laughs> all right we're gonna feed them whatever is in here, looks like we got lettuce, potato, oh, there's my sunglasses. Looks like potato shavings, the skin. Oh, they're gonna love that. Hey, you might, you might zap yourself if you get too close, girl. Watch it. Guess you're gonna learn the hard way. Guacamole? Kinda of gross. Did you miss me, Sadie? Have you just been chilling up here? Paisley! Come on, Paisley! I bet you she'll run to us if I turn the, the rhino on. What are you doing? Load up, load up, other side. Other side, come on. She left me. What the heck? She abandoned me, randomly. All right, so it is day two out here. We didn't film at all today. I was planning on it, but I got assigned some errands to run. So I've been doing that all day. But we are back out here at the chicken coop. I actually forgot to get eggs yesterday. So we're gonna see if there's any. And then we're gonna throw in some scratch. Is that thing even on? The zapper? It is? Paisley was all over it yesterday. A lot more uh, feisty yesterday about the food. There are no eggs. Paisley, no Check on the ground. You probably just sort of look at 
Hey. Hey. Thank you. Should we try the medium light or should I go light action for bass? I think it'll be a little bit easier to yank those bass out of the grass with this one. All right, we're gonna go with the Arius. Give it a try. It's got the nice core candle. We're just driving around. We are making our way to the lake to go fishing. We're just feeding some corn, letting Paisley run, and she's rubbing her cheeks all over me, all over my arm. We're gonna go catch some bass, hopefully, try out these new rods. Check it out, the deer are already coming back. <laughs> Can't make that up. So we just got up to the lake, and Blake actually has a trap here for nutrient rats. He says he catches them like every day, and looks like we got one. I've never seen one up close and personal, and we're I'm about to find to catch out. catch raccoons, because they get on my feeder and drain it. Dude, they look like beavers, but with possum tails. What the heck? I mean, they're a lot smaller, but. That dude is gnarly. They're mean. Too. He's got like a guinea pig face, but he's Watch super sized. They're, gonna wake up. They're mean? Yeah. Oh my dude. That looks like a big old beaver. Look at his teeth. I'll snap at you. Look at that guy. This is a small one. Really? Yeah. That guy is gnarly. Apparently these things are invasive, but you've been <laughs> But you've been letting him go. Yeah, I'm, well, I'm waiting so we feed, we, if we feed this, we can shoot them with air guns at night and that's a lot more fun. I'm trying to catch coons, so. Dude, that guy is gnarly. Ooh. So I guess these nutrient rats just come up on the shoreline here and eat whatever's in the trap. Hey, but uh, I'm already seeing some bluegill and little perch in here, which is a really good sign. The lake is actually glassing over. Film this thing come off. So fishing should be a lot of fun. The wind has been ripping. I just saw a bass bust over there. And if we went fishing, it would have been really hard. We've been tossed around like I have been down in Corpus in the kayak. But uh, I'm pumped. Wind is laying over. He's gonna swim through Look there. at all that bait. Wow. I watched this thing swim through it. Has one ever attacked you? Uh, he'll bite me if he gets a chance. Dude, he looks like he's got buck teeth. He's like a beaver. He looks like the Bucky's uh, mascot. He looks like the Bucky. Uh oh, there he is. Whoa! Looks like a sea otter from Sea World. Oh, there's a bass. I see a bass. Yeah, we're gonna have to come down here and do some hunting. The nutrients actually live over there. There's some beavers over there as well that are tearing up some trees. So. I guess we'll come down here. I have a Benjamin Rotter. I've had it for years, but I haven't really used it that much, and I definitely haven't made any videos because I don't have a scope cam. So, I need to get one of those. All right, we're gonna get everything rigged up, get in the boat, and hopefully evade the swan, which is a total app. He's not very nice. Definitely not nice to Paisley either. Hey, where is it? Really? Low fence, look. This is all low fence. The high fence property is over there. This right here is free range. Hey, look at that buck. He's coming right in. Yep. He's coming right in. There's, oh my gosh. Dude, look at that deer. He doesn't even care about us. Guess these bucks are in rut. Jeez, dude. We can literally go get the bow. The problem is, if we don't shoot it, he's gonna disappear like all the other deer I let go. People down there shoot him with guns at their damn back porch. They're just hanging right up in that brush. I know. I is that big buck over there? Yeah, it's another different small buck. The other deer went back up in here. Yes, I know so. We will shoot that deer tonight. That buck? Dude, he's been nocturnal, he's been smart, and now all of a sudden he's acting like a stupid one. He's acting like these dudes. The other one's coming. Hey. 
back here. There's a whole bunch of them. All right, we're gonna go back, I guess. We don't have any leader material. We actually forgot it. I really wanted the fish, but there's only so many chances, I guess. Yeah. We're gonna pull it up on the computer, see if the deer's old enough. They're gonna bring her in. I don't know, he looks kinda young-ish. He's kinda small-bodied. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's four, but I'm telling you, if we let him go, we ain't never gonna see him again. I've done it for three years now. He's like a redfish, dude. Got him. Pie. Pickerel. Got him still? Woo, baby. Boat flipper. There you go. What do you think about that, Paisley? Those things got some teeth, so you better watch out. No wonder it wakes like that. Yeah, it's like a redfish, dude. That's a pretty meaty one, too. Good morning yesterday. We tried to fish, we had about 20 minutes and we didn't really catch anything. We went back to the house to go look at the video of that buck. Blake actually came back down and filmed a little bit more and we decided he's probably a little young and he's not quite there in terms of the rack size yet. Uh, the reason we were considering shooting him is because this is low fence and in our previous experience in the past People around have shot the deer that we've let walk the young bucks that we think would be absolute giants the next year or The next within the next two years. Um, so it's kind of a competition competing with everyone else You got to really get your deer before they get to it. So we did decide to let him walk He's probably gonna get shot, but you, can, you never know Fingers crossed, whoa, fingers crossed that he does survive. But here we are, we are at the lake today. We will have plenty of time. Hopefully the bass are biting. It is a little bit nippy out here. So we're gonna have to work it slow. We got the worm working. I am by myself, so we'll see. Should be fun. We got a little more wind, but we gotta fight the swan once again. So let's get rigged up and go to war. That's another one. Another fish right there. Another little bass. Uh oh, he's pulling us around. What do you think about that? Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, we're spinning. Bass number two. Let's see if we can get us a big one. These are all tiny guys. Sun is starting to peek out, which is good. The wind's laying a little bit. But we are still being blown around. There he is. There he is. There he is, right on that big log. That feels like a decent one, better than the other ones. And there he goes. Why is the, I was wondering why the trolling motor was still going. Well, we saw him, he wasn't that big. He was all right, pound and a half. There's one. There he is, there he is. There he is, another little one. I think we got him set pretty well though. Right on that little log up there. All right, the third one in the boat. See ya. Not seeing much size. Blake said he was down here the other day, my brother, and was catching a bunch of little ones, but there was a few nice ones, three, four pounders in the mix. We just gotta weed through these little ones, I guess, until we find a good one. Silly dog. There he is. There he is. We got another one. A little bit better one. Right on this drop off here. I think that will be the best one of the day so far. Ooh, he's barely hooked in the top lip. 
Come here, dude. All right, that hook is out. Another healthy bass. Well, we're keeping Paisley entertained, I guess. All right, if I am not mistaken, we've landed four and lost one. All right, well, we just missed it. I caught another bass, but my GoPro wasn't rolling. He was about wee big. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be a big one, just the way he was acting when he took the bait. But, uh, he wasn't. Oh,